I expected to have a husband who would cook and clean and lead us spiritually and always be patient and be kind. And she got it. <laughs> <laughs> I just had this idea. We'd be best friends. We'd have lots of sex. <laughs> and we'd play we'd video play games. Video games. Okay. That's, the, yeah. that's all you need yeah. in a marriage. Yeah. So, that, so that didn't end up happening. You always marry the wrong person, and that's for a couple reasons. One is that that God, his intention is for you to learn to love somebody that's different. Um, second, they change. If you're married to one person over a lifetime, you're actually married to five different people. So if they're the right person now, they're not going to be the right person tomorrow. Love is not simply a feeling. Love is not simply making someone feel good. Love actually looks like the cross. There's no such thing as true love unless there's sacrifice. Love in the scriptures means that I disadvantage myself for the comfort and benefit of another. The purpose for oneness is so that people can see modeled in your marriage the same kind of oneness that the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit have experienced for eternity. And your marriage, even in its imperfections and flaws, may be the most powerful statement for the gospel of Jesus Christ some people ever see in their entire lives.